Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about dominant mode and degenerate mode. <coughs> what do you mean by dominant mode? So first let us see the definition of dominant mode and degenerate mode. Then we will go what are the different uh, dominant modes and degenerate modes in TE and TM. <coughs> dominant mode. dominant mode before going to the definition of what do you mean by dominant mode let us see what do you mean by mode mode is nothing but when a wave is being propagated in a rectangular waveguide it experiences a different uh, types of patterns <coughs> suppose it is the rectangular waveguide okay this is the wave that travels in the rectangular waveguide when the wave travels in a rectangular waveguide, it experiences different types of patterns. So when a waveguide, when a wave travels in a rectangular waveguide, it experiences several patterns called modes each pattern is known as a mode now among n number of modes okay let us consider a hundred number of modes are there among these hundred number of modes which wave travels with the least cutoff frequency or highest cutoff wavelength is known as dominant mode okay among these modes among these modes which mode is having the least cut off frequency that is fc or maximum cut off wavelength that is lambda c both are inversely proportional to each other cut off wavelength among these modes, which mode is having the least cutoff frequency or highest cutoff wavelength is known as dominant mode. Is known as dominant mode. Hope you understand what do you mean by dominant mode now. Now, in order to see what are the different modes, different possible modes in the TE and TM to be called as a dominant mode, let us recall the equation of cutoff frequency, cutoff wavelength. Okay, we know that lambda c is inversely proportional to c by epsilon, nothing but cutoff frequency. Okay, so from the equation of cutoff wavelength so let us recall the cutoff wavelength lambda c per m n where m n specifies the mode m n specifies the mode m specifies the electric field in x axis and n specifies the same electric field in y axis nothing but m specifies the electric field component moment in breadth nothing but suppose if you have taken a rectangular wave like this this is the x axis and this is the y axis this is zero and this is b nothing but width of the waveguide and this is a which is nothing but breadth of the waveguide. If you are saying the electric field in this direction, then that is M. 
if you are saying the electric field in this direction then it is m okay so whatever the field we are if you are talking about electric field in towards uh, a towards x axis that is m, m you need to consider m equal to some mode okay so m, depending on m and n values so there are several types of modes are being occurred like m is equal to 0 n equal to 0 then that mode is known as te00 or tm00 if it is te mode it is te00 if it is tm wave or tm mode it is known as tm00 like that we have several number of modes 00 11 1 2 2 1 2 2 3 1 3 2 like that we have n number of modes okay so lambda c is equal to 2 a b square root of m square b square plus n square a square 2 a b by square root of m square b square plus n square a square now dominant mode for te in te wave the dominant mode is the dominant mode is that is the least possible existing mode okay if you take te 0 0 that will not exist okay if you take te 0 1 that will be existed te 0 1 okay so this is the dominant mode when te equal to when te 0 1 nothing but m equal to 0 n equal to 1 what about this equation m equal to 0 nothing but b is gone and n is equal to 1 n equal to 1 means a square let us substitute lambda c 0 1 that is equal to 2 a b by square root of m square m is nothing but 0 here m equal to c uh, t e m n nothing but m equal to 0 n equal to 1 0 plus it is n a square so 2 a b by it is a square that is equal to 2 sorry root root over a square is nothing but 2 a b by a that is equal to 2 b okay that means for te 0 1 it is 2 b let us see what is the dominant mode dominant mode is let us see which one okay te 0 0 first case te 0 0 that is not existed so first case is te 0 1 when m equal to 0 n equal to 1 this is the 2 b okay similarly let us see what happens when per T e 1 0 let us check with this that means m is equal to 1 n equal to 0 lambda c 1 0 is equal to 2 a b by square root of a square m square a square nothing but here m square b square okay now it is b square plus 0 this is 2 a okay so lambda c 1 0 is equal to 2 a now tell me lambda c 0 1 is 2 b lambda c 1 0 is 2 a which is higher value which is higher value from this figure c a is more compared to b so 2 b is more or 2 a is more 2 a is more i think but lambda c 1 0 is having highest value compared to lambda c 0 1 now in between in these two which is the dominant mode what is the definition of dominant mode which is having highest cutoff wavelength or least cut of frequency highest cut of wavelength is nothing but 2a so what is dominant mode te 1 0 okay so this is the dominant mode therefore dominant mode is te 1 0 you have to remember these values te 1 0 is the dominant mode in te mode okay and similarly dominant mode for the tm wave that is tm11 okay similarly dominant mode in tm is tm11 least possible modes will not exist tm10 tm01 will not exist so tm11 will be existed it is the least possible mode 
above all the modes are existed but uh, which is having the highest cut off frequency that will be uh, considered as a dominant mode if you go to tm21 tm22 like that tm12 if you go like that and the above modes all the modes will be having least cut off wavelength okay so this is what the dominant mode coming to degenerate mode degenerate mode degenerate modes are nothing but degenerate modes two or more modes two or more modes having <laughs> same cut off frequency same cut off frequency are called degenerate modes okay suppose if one mode is having a cut off frequency that is repeated for another mode that is called as degenerate modes okay so for rectangular waveguide tm tmn temn tmmn modes for which both m is equal to 0 n equal to 0 will be have say degenerate modes okay uh, in te and tm the modes like m0 and n0 are nothing but te mn tm mn te00 tm00 are called degenerate modes okay so this is what the dominant mode and degenerate modes thank you